Hey guys, it's Allie, and today I'm going to be doing a video that little me has dreamt of doing. I've been doing my makeup before everything else. It's so one of those days I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup. I'm gonna put concealer a little bit around my eyes, a little bit like around my nose because my allergies are very bad right now. And they're making my nails all red. So I don't know, maybe a little bit here because it's a little more red for some reason right there. Just don't like the more red spots on my face, I guess, where like the color needs a bit of correction. But the thing is like, I also want my like freckles to show through. I don't want to do, I don't like caking up my face, you know? Also yesterday I got my nails done, cute. Uh, I kind of wanted to do like an acrylic look, but then me and my mom talked and like gel stays on better and it doesn't destroy your nails as much as acrylic could, like natural nails, so yeah personal preference. I'm just gonna blend this all out. I'm gonna look in my actual mirror here. So now that I've kind of- <coughs> allergies. Now that I've like kind of blended it all out here, I'm gonna put on some- I could do like a foundation but at the same time again I don't really like the cakey feeling of that a ton. For today I'm gonna go with powder foundation. Also along with my seasonal allergies, um <laughs> The guy's house that we're going to for dinner and pictures and stuff. He has a cat and I am very allergic to those. So this should be interesting. I've never had such a bad reaction as I did to his cat. It was bad. It was the worst reaction I've ever had was to his cat. So I'm a little nervous because I do not want to be looking like a blobfish in my prom picture. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of, I want like my, a bit of my natural skin to show through like my freckles and stuff, you know? So. And I didn't like the cakey feeling, so I'm not doing super heavy application on all around my face, you know? Oh, I, I was having a bit of an acne issue recently, but it looks like it's gone away. Like, I didn't really have to, like, cover up any really specific spots for acne, so that was nice. I seriously need to get, like, eyebrow glue, you know? Like, that stuff that you put in your eyebrows to make it, like, stay in place, because... My eyebrows definitely go all over the place. I haven't been really telling you what this stuff is from, but this is from Revlon. I have used different eyebrow pencils. This one, I'll admit, is not my favorite. Now I'm gonna be doing some eyeshadow, cause you know it's prone, might as well get some dressy makeup on, you know? I'm using my JD Beauty palette, if you guys don't know what that's from. Um, JD Vlogs are YouTubers. I love the channel, they're very motivational, I guess, is a good way to put it, and just like, yeah, cool people. Um, I'm also applying some more chapstick because my lips feel chap. Got their, she's, I think it's called like, She Said Yes palette off of their website, and yeah, there's my lovely phone setup. <laughs> the one with the shade called Yes, because it's just like, all stuff having to do with their proposal, you know? I worked it into my crease a bit. But I'm not going for like a brown look. I'm going to be going with pink next because gotta get some fun colors in there, you know? I'm gonna go in with Fight Night next. It's like there's a deeper purple color. I'm just making this up as I go. I have no idea what kind of look I'm going for, but yeah. <laughs> okay, I just put that all over my lid. I'm gonna go in with Ever. And I'm gonna put that more outside my lid. I don't know why I really did the brown one the first. I don't really know what the band was with that, but yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that being under the purple. Again, not entirely sure where I'm going with this. And with the shade Love, put that on the inside here. I kind of just mess around with eyeshadow when I want to, so like blend out a bit more you know now i'm gonna go to the other side i'm no makeup guru person like i used to think i was when i first started youtube i was just like oh yeah i'm gonna do a bunch of makeup tutorials i'm so good at makeup i look bad at, back at those things now i'm just like i never want to be one to like delete videos because i'm like embarrassed of stuff or stuff like that like i want to be able to show y'all the um, progress we're taking here and how awkward i was as like a little seventh or eighth grader now i'm a sophomore 
Okay, I'm kind of scared for this part because I really don't want to get mascara on the eyeshadow, but next we're going in with mascara. It's so annoying when you get on the eyeshadow and you have to like fix everything. Focus. I'm just putting on the first layer here. I think this is the only layer I'm going to put on my bottom lashes though. First coat is Maybelline the Colossal Mascara. Not exactly my favorite mascara I've ever used. But like, I'm trying to start out with a lighter coat. And voila for the first coat of mascara. Next one. Actually, I don't want to. I think I found like three coats of mascara today, but you know. Um, this one is, is Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I just recently started trying out the Essence Princess Lash Mascaras, and I like them. The mascara coats. And then this one is another Essence Slash Princess, but this one's Color Volume Mascara. So, yeah, the brush definitely looks different than the last one. Because that's supposed to have a different effect. But, phew. Hopefully, I don't sneeze in a second or anything. I'm going to actually just take the spoolie on the end of my eyebrow brush to just like kind of brush through real quick. I definitely have a better side to my face and it's this one because <laughs> like this one always gives me trouble with everything i think that's my better side with hair too it like holds stuff better on this side so i don't like doing stuff with my lips and then having to go and like eat dinner hopefully we're doing pictures first and then there but i'm gonna do some stuff on my lips and then i'm also gonna pack this lip gloss in my bag i got for prom which i love but yeah, it's also from JD Beauty. I think this one's the Glow Up Gloss. It's very sparkly. It's going to be very sparkly and shiny. But there we go for that. And then, oh yeah. Let's put on a little bit of blush and highlighter here. It seems a little dark, so I'm just gonna use the other side of the brush to kind of like... Technical difficulties. Yeah, so I had to go in and free up a bunch of like iPhone storage. So I went in up some space and now i can start recording again blush i think i'm gonna put on a little bit more got a little bit of blush there not someone who likes a ton of blush and now i'm gonna put on some highlighter because i am someone who really likes highlighter yeah i'm using this wavy glow palette i've been using it for years and it's like really cheap off of amazon but it does the trick so win for me but it definitely has like a giant dent in the highlighter because I use it a lot. There we go. We got the highlight. And that's what I'm doing for my makeup. I'm gonna like first do like a braid kind of off to the side. I think I'm gonna do it on this side though. So I'm kind of trying to part my hair differently than I usually do. So this should be interesting, but we're gonna like clip it back because you can see I kind of did like a little braid thing here and I'm gonna have my mom like clip it back. Okay, so this is the clip. Also, I'm loving this lighting in here. <laughs> also, we homemade the corsage for this dance for my date and my mom has to go pick up the box for it from a lady that also makes corsages. This is our first time making one, so must be love the dirty. I realized I was filming the wrong way for this. This is the purse I got for prom. Just a woman like squint ID and bars, gum, chance just like stuff like that, you know. I'm waiting for my mom to get back. She's gonna help me with the rest of my hair. And then I'm gonna put on my dress and everything. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I am so anxious. Like I get so anxious it makes me sick about events and stuff like that. So the last dance I went to was the winter stance and I had the worst panic attack I've had ever so I'm just kind of like <sighs> I didn't go to the last dance because I was worried about causing anxiety this time I'm going and so I'm a little anxious here I put on the dress and I have a dressing bag with change of clothes for the after party and then I have my purse and my mom curled my hair. There's a lot tucked into film in there, but it's okay. Also, I'm rushing a little bit to get last minute stuff together. Just come up. There we go. 
Ouais, ça va. You are a really strong girl.